cardiac murmur, who am I? Can you guess who am I? My pulse is completely irregular, irregular. When I palpate for it, duck, 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 duck. It is completely irregular, irregular. My jugular venous pressure is elevated. Jugular venous pressure is elevated. I have left-sided sub memory scar from here to here. Sub memory scar. When I palpate for apex, nature of apex is tapping. Apex come and just tap my hand. Tapping. It is undisplaced. It is in proper position, not displaced. Mid clavicular line, fifth intercostal space. It is in proper position. Apex tapping undisplaced. There is parastana heave. Then I palpate for parastana heave and go out and again go back. Go out and go back. There is right ventricular hypertrophy. When I start it, there is loud S1. First heart sound loud. First heart sound is due to closure of tricuspid and mitral valve. It is loud. And there is opening snap. You may have heard it previously. When you open fresh bottle, you can hear sound that is the opening snap. There is opening snap and rumbling low pitch mid diastolic murmur with pre systolic accentuation. Before systolic, it will more pronounced. Best heard at mitral area here, left lateral position with the bell of stethoscope with the expiration. Murmur is with the opening snap. Rumbling low pitch mid diastolic murmur with pre systolic accentuation best heard at mitral area left lateral position with the bell of stethoscope more pronounced in expiration. What is the diagnosis? Mitral stenosis. Diagnosis is mitral stenosis. Why they develop irregular irregular pulse? This valve is tricuspid valve, this valve is mitral valve. Your mitral valve now get stenos. Mitral valve now stenos. What happened with the stenos mitral valve? You are the left atrium. Emptying is difficult. Left atrium emptying is into left ventricle is difficult. With that left atrium going to chronically enlarge. Now left atrium chronically enlarge. With that, what happened? Electric current in the left atrium now get disturb so they develop atrial fibrillation with the enlarged left atrium electric current get disturbed they develop atrial fibrillation that is why they are developed irregularly irregular parts why they have elevated jugular venous pressure why they have elevated jugular venous pressure now what happened left atrium overfit blood going to fill in lung as well why lung can't empty properly? Left atrium overfill. Left, right, ventricle. Difficult to pump blood into the pulmonary circulation. Why? It is overfilled now. Right ventricle enlarged now. Enlarged and hypertrophic. Right atrium cannot put blood into the left, right ventricle. Why? This one enlarged and overfill. So that back pressure transmitted to the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. This back pressure from here to here transmitted into the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. If you measure jugular venous pressure here with the external jugular vein, you can see elevated JVP. Then there can be left side submemory scar, previous mitral valve surgery, usually carried under left submemory scar. When palpating, apex is tapping in nature. How it happened? Your left ventricle starts to relax, but less blood comes because of the stenosis valve. It suddenly relaxes, but less blood comes. So, relaxing and come and touch here, then when it starts to contract, no blood rapidly contract. And you will like tapping. Come and touch and go, come and touch and go, come and touch and go. Why? They can easily go. There is no much blood in the right left ventricle. So your patient develops tapping apex. 
apex is undisplaced. If your patient develops high volume here, then your ventricle is going to enlarge and apex is going to displace. Here, there is no such a situation. So, apex is in the proper position and tapping in the nature. Due to back pressure, right ventricle is going to enlarge. So, you can have a right turn here. If you palpate a right turn here, there is a right turn here. Now, this one. First heart sound is due to closure of tricuspid and mitral valve. Now, mitral valve is very stiff. When touched together, produce loud sound. So, you can have loudest one. There can be opening snap. How will it develop? Opening snap. Here you are atrium, here you are ventricle. Here you are valve, mitral valve. Now it is too much stems. What happened? Only small opening is there. Too much stems. What happened when pressure and volume overload in the left atrium, it produces additional pressure on valve leaflet. Now, what happened? Suddenly valve bent towards the other side. Suddenly valve bent towards the other side. Previously valve like this. With the pressure what happened? Your valve become like this. That valve tipping produce from here to that tipping process produce opening snap. Initial valve like this, suddenly it become like this tipping of that valve. It produce opening snap. Rumbling low pitch mid diastolic murmur. Why it produce mid diastolic murmur? Initially, lesser amount of flow come from here to here. Mid part of the diastole is the highest flow rate is there. So, it produces more sound in the mid part of the diastole. So, mid diastolic murmur is there with pre systolic accentuation. Pre systolic accentuation, what does it mean? Before ventricle contract, the murmur little bit pronounced. Here you are, first heart sound love. Here you are. Second heart sound. Then your ventricle start to relax. First heart sound due to closure of tricuspid valve and mitral valve. Second heart sound is due to closure of aortic valve and pulmonary valve. Now your ventricle start to relax. Now diastole start. During that mid diastole, then you develop opening snap here. Valve open, opening snap. Then mid diastolic murmur. That diastolic murmur start slowly and gradually increase during the mid part of diastole, highest flow, then gradually reduced. Initially murmur like this, then gradually increase, then gradually reduce. Then latter part again murmur appear. Last part of the atrial emptying is atrial contraction or atrial kicking. If your patient does not develop atrial fibrillation, atrial kicking is still there. Then you can push blood into the ventricle by atrial contraction. That contraction process will give rise pre systolic accentuation of the murmur. This murmur is opening snap with mid diastolic crescendo decrescendo murmur. Crescendo decrescendo murmur with opening snap. This is how it appears. You can best hurt in the mitral labia with the left lateral position, with the bell of stethoscope, with the expiration. Why expiration? Inspiration, what happened with the inspiration? You create negative pressure in your thoracic cavity. Blood can easily come from the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. Right side flow will increase. Right side flow will increase. So right side murmur will more pronounced during the inspiration. Expiration, what happened? Your thoracic cavity is squeezed. Blood come from pulmonary vein into the left atrium and left ventricle. So, during the expiration, left side flow will increase. Expiration, left side flow increase. Left sided murmur will move pronounced. So, this is a left sided murmur. Mitral stenosis is left sided murmur. It is more pronounced in expiration. Is it clear? Thank you very much.